Snubbed Prince Harry settles for dinner with city financier Guy Monson after his father told him he was too busy to see him during UK visit. Prince Harry will meet a millionaire financier after admitting King Charles was too busy to meet him in what experts said was a snub that reflected the depth of their rift. The Duke of Sussex arrived in the UK alone today after flying in from California for a ceremony marking the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games in London tomorrow. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Ahead of the service, Harry visited Armory House this afternoon for an Invictus Games discussion called Realizing a Global Community hosted by Louise Minchin. The prince had hoped to meet his estranged father the king during his trip, which follows a previous quick visit in February after Charles's cancer diagnosis. Harry's event was just three miles away from where Charles was, at Clarence House. But Harry's spokesman said today, in response to the many inquiries and continued speculation on whether or not the Duke will meet with his father while in the UK this week, it unfortunately will not be possible due to His Majesty's full program. The Duke of course is understanding of his father's diary of commitments and various other priorities and hopes to see him soon. Instead, as the Duke's foundation Archul confirmed, he will meet city financier Guy Monson. Reacting to the news, Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams said, this, whatever the logistics, will be widely perceived as a snub. This is one of the most public rifts in the world. If it was handled in private without so much press speculation, it would have a better chance of being resolved. Royal expert Michael Cole agreed. He said, it is quite a snub. For the king to not see his younger son, Prince Harry, although the two men will be only two miles apart tomorrow afternoon, gives an indication of the depth of the divide. The prodigal son is not welcome, not for the present, anyway. In royal terms, this is big medicine. Prince Harry is bound to see it for what it is, the clearest possible indication of the hurt that has been caused. There can be no mistake, this is a royal flea in the ear for the fifth in line to the throne. Actions have consequences but rarely are they played out as starkly as they are here. Even Prince Harry, never the sharpest sword in the household cavalry, is bound to have got the message and many people will say, about time too. Fellow royal expert Richard Palmer said, it's surprising if the King and Harry are not meeting at all and perhaps a sign of how much bridge building still needs to be done. There's been much media speculation that father and son would meet. While that always looked like guessing, I'd have guessed they would meet too. Harry is understood to have had various Invictus Games commitments today, according to ITV. Monson, chief investment officer of Saracen and Partners, a London-based £18 billion investment fund, was alongside the Warring Brothers when they unveiled a statue of their mother Princess Diana in 2021 at Kensington Palace. It was Harry and William's last solo engagement together. He was the former treasurer to the Cambridges and the Sussexes joint foundation before Harry and Meghan quit as senior working royals and emigrated. Monson is a trustee of the Invictus Games Foundation, founded by Harry, and was on the organizing committee for its inaugural games. The Duke revealed he was having dinner with him while sharing an anecdote about the event in 2014. The city financier is married to Lady Rose Monson, and they have two daughters, Olivia, and Leonora. Educated at the University of Oxford, where he studied a master's degree in PP, Mr. Monson is chief investment officer of £18 billion investment fund Saracen and Partners. He has also served as director of the Chatsworth House Trust, which looks after the iconic stately home in Derbyshire. Tomorrow, the Duke is set to give a reading at a service of thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral marking a decade since the inaugural competition in London in 2014. Organisers had said there was no confirmation of any other royals attending, or if Harry's wife Meghan Markle or children Archie and Lilibet would also be in the UK. But Harry arrived in London by himself today, 
and is expected to join the Duchess on a tour to Nigeria later this week with Meghan set to fly there from the US by herself.